When it comes to game announcements and laying out the first party game roadmap, Xbox is very bold this generation. As of today we know about 20 first party games that are in the making and that does not include second or third party exclusive deals like for instance the incredibly good looking Stalker 2. And most of those 20 first party games are not cross gen titles. The biggest games of Xbox will be current gen exclusive games that will make use of all that the hardware of the Xbox Series X and S have to offer. To build the most immersive gaming worlds ever. So today we have a deeper look into what we know about the biggest Xbox titles coming in 2022 and beyond, available only on Xbox Series X and S. Hello gamers from around the world, this is Archimedes, the video game enthusiast from Germany with a deep dive in the biggest Xbox first party games that will only run on the next gen or by now we can say current gen consoles. But before we dive into these immersive worlds, you should treat yourself and set your player to full 4K 60fps to get the best audio visual experience I can deliver to you. And while you are at it, please also consider to hit the like and subscribe button and maybe even turn on the notification bell to not miss out on future content, because in case you enjoy yourself while watching this video, I would greatly appreciate your support. Okay, but now let's talk about some of the biggest, most diverse and most immersive and detailed worlds ever built in video games. I will focus only on the biggest of the biggest blockbusters, the games that are only developed for the Xbox Series X and S hardware and of course for very capable PCs. And I know that it is still hard to get your hands on the consoles, especially the Xbox Series X. The console is sold out basically everywhere, but Team Xbox is doing all they can to truly leave no gamers behind and still deliver true next generation experiences. So if you are still looking for an Xbox Series X by next year when the true next gen exclusive games will come out, you will be able to play these games via xCloud on your Xbox One consoles. So let's get right into the first true next gen experience and that is Avowed by Obsidian Entertainment. Avowed is a huge open world role playing game that is set in a high fantasy world and many compare that game to Skyrim. Obsidian makes some of the best role playing games in the business. They tell some of the best stories and for them to now have access to a huge budget, to the technology that is shared across the Xbox Game Studios and to have enough time to make their biggest and most ambitious game ever gives me goosebumps. And head of Xbox Phil Spencer recently said in an interview with IGN that this game has indeed enough elements to distinguish itself from Skyrim. Which is good to hear that it's not just Skyrim from Obsidian but that they add their own unique formula. We haven't seen proper gameplay yet but the game was announced with an in-engine trailer and at the end they teased at least a little bit of gameplay that told us that we will play this game from a first person perspective. Recently we have got a bunch of super cool looking environment shots from Jason Lewis who is a senior environment artist at Obsidian and even though this might not directly represent the actual graphics in game, it tells us that this will be a very detailed world. In 2020 we also had a leak for some character models from the game and I mean look at those, this game will look amazing running in the Unreal Engine by the way. But besides these leaked shots, we know that the game is set in the same world like Pillars of Eternity, called Eora. But Obsidian said that this story and the world can be fully understood without having played the Pillars of Eternity games. The reveal trailer already told us that this will be a war riddled world, dark and gritty with monsters and human enemies to fight and probably a lot of player choices for the story. And if we think back in how immersive some of the other games were like Fallout New Vegas, KOTOR 2 or The Outer Worlds. We can expect a huge immersive and very detailed world filled with adventures for us to discover. But let's move on to another true next gen experience and that is Hellblade 2. Hellblade 2 was revealed in 2019 at the Video Game Awards with an in-engine cinematic trailer. After its reveal, a lot of tech experts thought it is impossible to achieve that kind of visual fidelity on a console. But now, almost two years later, we know that thanks to the amazing technology of the Unreal Engine 5, the power in the Xbox Series consoles and the incredible talent at Ninja Theory, this is going to be a very detailed and immersive game and a technical benchmark title. Let's hear from Ninja theory themselves about the current status of the game. What we're doing right now is building a good chunky slice of the game before we then move into full production to build out the rest. Hellblade was very special for us and we didn't want to do a straight sequel, we wanted to do something extra special and so we're making our lives as difficult as possible in that pursuit. 
The game is set in Iceland, 9th century Iceland. So we've been sending out art and audio teams out there, doing photography, photogrammetry, and combining it with satellite data to recreate large swathes of the landscape. On the character front, we're building real costumes, scanning them in. We're collaborating with Epic Games to bring you next generation digital characters. On the combat front, we want it to be extra real and brutal. And so Melina, our main actress, has been training for two years and all of our animators have undergone combat training. Ninja Theory has been giving us here and there updates through development diaries and we have learned that from a technical perspective they are putting in a ton of work. For instance, they built their own material scanners to really get as close as possible to photorealistic graphics. They trained all their animators in martial arts to get the best animations possible to date. They went out to record via photogrammetry in collaboration with Quixel the most detailed biomes possible. Their benchmark audio team is working to deliver their most immersive sound design ever. And since Hellbelt 1 is to date still the best audio design out there, this is going to be an amazing experience. And from the sound of it, it is going to be more than just a linear game like the first one. And it will deliver the high quality of storytelling and character writing that Ninja Theory is known for. With Hellblade 2, we will get a benchmark title on the visual side of things, the audio side, the animation work and storytelling. But let's move on to the next huge next-gen only title and that is Fable. Playground Games, maker of the Forza Horizon series, are working on a reboot of the beloved RPG series from the 360 days. The first rumor of the game came up in January 2017. So as of right now, the game is almost around about 5 years in development and they are probably going to take another year or two to finish that game. This just tells you about the ambition of this giant open world action RPG that doesn't take itself too serious. From the reveal trailer we learned that they will be keeping that British humor that the series is known for. We know that playground games can nail graphics. Forza Horizon 5 is probably one of the most impressive games I've ever seen and Fable will be using the same engine, so things that you can see here in that footage from Forza Horizon 5 will be transferred over to Fable, an open world action RPG. So I have zero doubt that this will be from a technical side of things a very impressive game, but the question is, how can a development studio that is known for racing games deliver an immersive story, good character writing, good quest design etc etc. Well, playground games are known for their very detailed open world, so I have no doubt that they will pay the same attention to detail in this action RPG and that's why I'm really looking forward to see how Fable will turn out. But let's move on to the next giant next gen only game and that is Starfield coming out in November 2022. So in a little more than one year we will get our hands on the first brand new Bethesda IP in 25 years. Mastermind Todd Howard is behind the game and the idea for the game has been in his head for almost two decades but only now is it possible for Bethesda Game Studios to realize the vision for the game because now they have the hardware that makes it possible to realize this gigantic open world role playing game set in space. We haven't seen gameplay for the game yet, but we already learned about the diversity in the worlds, about different factions in the game and comparisons to Skyrim in space have been made by Todd Howard himself. I have a dedicated video on my channel explaining everything we know so far about Starfield. You can rest assured that Bethesda will deliver a detailed world across an entire universe. For the first time ever, their own engine, the creation engine, gets a complete new iteration, the creation engine 2.0. And the reveal trailer was entirely made in that engine, without any cinematic tricks applied. So I have zero doubt that this game is going to be the dominating point of discussion in the fall of 2022, because this game is going to be massive, detailed, immersive and overall a ton of fun to play. But let's talk about another 2022 title and that is the game Redfall, which will also only come out on current gen consoles and PC. The game is developed by Arcane Austin and will be a co-op open world shooter with a vampire setting, which is a welcome change when compared for instance to the often used zombie setting. And given the track record of the studio with games like Bioshock 2, the Dishonored series or Prey, we can expect something unique. Redfall is not going to be your standard co-op shooter. Arcane have always delivered in unique gameplay 
elements and are very well known for their detailed world building and strong storytelling. We have yet to see proper gameplay, the game was only revealed with the cinematic trailer, but just recently we got some leaks of screenshots of a very early pre-alpha build. So don't judge the graphics just yet, but the early testers compared that game to Borderlands with RPG mechanics, unique abilities and loot. The game will be able to be played solo, but it is heavily advertised as a co-op experience. And that is just a unique thing about these games coming from the Xbox Game Studios. There is a huge diversity, not just with single player games, but also with co-op and multiplayer experiences. But the next game I want to talk about is a single player experience, and that is the reboot of Perfect Dark. The IP that first made its debut on the N64 is now entirely rebooted and rethought by The Initiative, a newly founded studio that is led by Daryl Gallagher, who is the mastermind behind the reboot of the Tomb Raider franchise. He and his newly founded team are tackling this espionage action IP from a complete new angle. Yes, it will remain a first person game, but it is set in a dystopian future which the studio described as eco sci-fi. But let's hear about the setting from the initiative themselves. There's been an ecological disaster that affected the world on a global scale, but these corporations came in and they developed new technology. And for your average person, it's pretty awesome. It's a hopeful world on the surface, but once you scratch past it, there's a lot of things to probably be thought about and maybe stop. Okay, and that is where you as Joanna Dark, a female lead character, come in. And I can't wait to find out where they take this story and the gameplay elements in this game. The studio itself was founded to develop, and I quote now, a quadruple A experience, so that you can rest assured that the initiative is given enough time, money and technology to develop one of the most advanced games out there. And the talent that they hired for the initiative is top notch. Developers from Rockstar, Rocksteady, Naughty Dog, Insomniac and a lot of other big AAA studios are working now at the initiative to deliver a true blockbuster experience with Perfect Dark. Okay, but with that I already want to wrap it up because it will already take me a long time to edit this video. I could easily talk about other true next-gen experiences like the next Forza Motorsport game that is developed on a complete new engine with a game development time of at least 5 years, which is insanely long for a racing game, but that tells you just how much detail they will pack into that game. We could also talk about State of Decay 3, the zombie survival game that is in the making at Undead Labs that will deliver a survival idle experience we have never seen before, given the time, budget and resources they have now available. We could also talk about Outer Worlds 2, the other big open world RPG that Obsidian Entertainment is working on, but it's really early in development and so we postponed that talk about Outer Worlds 2. Or Gear 6, the next entry in the Gears of War franchise that is completely built in the Unreal Engine 5 and you can already tell that the team that is known as the masters of the Unreal Engine will develop one of the most impressive games from a technical standpoint with Gear 6. Or the Indiana Jones game that is built from machine games that will deliver top-notch action and storytelling combined with beautiful visuals. All of these games and a lot more are solely built as a next-gen experience and given the ecosystem approach from Xbox, meaning you can play your games either on the console, on PC or via xCloud even on the older consoles, there is truly no gamer left behind to experience these impressive single-player, co-op and multiplayer experiences that are built from the ground up to take advantage of the next-gen hardware. Never has the portfolio from the Xbox Game Studios been bigger, more technological advanced, more diversive, more immersive and more exciting. And starting in 2022 we will get big AAA games only possible on the Xbox Series X and S. And given that we were not even able to talk about half of the announced Xbox first party games in this video, I will definitely make a follow up to this one to discuss the other exciting worlds and games that are coming to the Xbox ecosystem. So if you enjoyed this video please do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button as well as the notification bell to get notified whenever new content is dropping. And if you want to support the channel even further, you can become a channel member and get early access to my videos and custom made badges and emojis. And let me thank everyone who supports this channel in any kind of way, you guys rock big time and make the channel to what it is. And now let me know in the comments down below, which games are you excited for the most? Did I even have the time to mention your most anticipated game? And besides here on YouTube, you can also hit me up on Twitter where I 
share a lot of opinions and gaming discussions. But for now, thank you very much for watching, I see you the next time and game on!